it's not very often I get to say this about a film, but Tammy and the Doctor is absolutely brilliant. Now, I am a big fan of the Tammy films anyway. I knew I'd like it. But when you look at IMDb and read the description, it sounds decent enough, but actually it's so much better. This one was released in 1963, directed by Harry Keller, written by Oscar Brodney, and stars Sandra Dee. This is the third Tammy film, the second one with Sandra Dee. And I have to say, first of all, something that was a massively pleasant surprise. And there won't be any spoilers, by the way. But big pleasant surprise for me is that the theme song for this is Tammy. In the other one, Tammy Tammy True, the theme song, there wasn't really a, a recurring theme song, but there was one, the lyrics for which were, is Tammy in love? But this one, Tammy, was the theme song for the first one with Debbie Reynolds. And it plays at several points throughout this film, and Sandra Dee also sings it. Now, nobody will ever sing it better than Debbie Reynolds, because I love her, I love that song, that was my introduction to the song, and in fact, my first ever Debbie Reynolds film. But Sandra Dee's version is really beautiful, and gorgeous to listen to, and it just makes me so happy to hear that song. I love it. So Tommy and the Doctor technically picks up where Tommy Tell Me True leaves off, However, you don't necessarily have to watch it. You don't really need to know that much about the previous film to be able to watch this. But I would recommend watching all three of them because they're they're kind of in sequence, but also separate narratives. The, the description from IMDb for this one says, A Los Angeles doctor falls for a Mississippi girl working as a nurse's aide in the hospital. That does not sell this film very well. And the tagline is appalling. The tagline is apparently, The exciting story of interns and nurses really does not sell this at all. Now, in this film, Tammy, I I don't know how much to say if you haven't seen the second film, there is a character, a friend of Tammy's, who is very unwell. And she needs to travel from Mississippi to LA to go to this hospital. Tammy goes with her. In order for Tammy to stay at the hospital, she has to take on work at the hospital. Tammy is... A fantastic personality, she's willing to learn and wants to learn everything, but she's not learned. She's not very in tune with the world around, the real world around her because her life in Mississippi on the boat is very remote. Um, but this gives her a chance to explore new horizons, it gives her a chance to experience new things. We definitely feel her excitement, but also her frustration. Her attitude is monstrous inspiring. And I love watching her perform in this and exploring these new avenues. The whole thing about the LA doctor falling in love with a Mississippi girl, that it's not really true. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's not what the film is about. And I'll be honest, now that, now that I've said this, I might as well carry on saying it. It's not like he spends the entire time trying to pursue her or something. It really is not the focus of this film. And... I just think it doesn't sell it well enough at all. But, you know, we have some nice characters. Um, Peter Fonda plays uh, Dr. Cheswick. Um, Donald Carey is Dr. Bentley. Uh, I particularly like Head Nurse Coleman, played by Mar- Margaret Lindsay. Um, Beulah Bondi is in this. Really great mix of cast and characters. A lot of different personalities. Tammy is true to her character, but she gets some development. She's absolutely fantastic. I love the film. And the soundtrack really does just make it something that little bit more amazing. This is actually the first Tammy film that I actually had tears in my eyes at at the end. Whether that's through sadness or happiness or just being overwhelmed. I'm not really... Well, I'm not going to say it, but I'm not sure which one it was. But it's... It's a beautiful film and I don't know if it's my favourite one. Tammy and the Bachelor will always be my favourite because it's Debbie Reynolds but I actually prefer Tammy and the Doctor to Tammy Tell Me True. There is one Tammy film left with neither Debbie Reynolds nor Sandra Dee so I'm looking forward to seeing how that one is but this is brilliant. If you haven't seen any of the Tammy films, definitely give it a watch. But I do recommend you start with Tammy and the Bachelor if you can. But really, it's not that important. 
Tommy and the Doctor is so much better than anything online has made it seem. It really is gorgeous.